Hey, 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 you guys. What's up, everybody? This is Riz at your service. And I'm here to bring you up to date with the latest EOS currency news. Now, if this is your first time in our channel, please don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below to get the latest out of EOS Marketplace news. And um, please be reminded that EOS Marketplace is not a financial advisor and we are only gathering, uh, we are only a gathering of news uh, from over 500 online videos and research links every day. And what we strongly suggest is that you guys do your own final research to make the best decision for yourself all right okay so guys in my video today I'd like to show you a couple of interesting sites that you might find useful whether you're looking into investing in EOS or even just wondering what you can do with your EOS tokens at all so I'll just try to give you as much information as I can so just sit back relax and stay tuned to EOS marketplace all right so I would like to start with uh, this uh, with our website which is www.preferredcurrency.news and I strongly suggest that you guys subscribe to our newsletter to get your daily dose of um, EOS uh, updates and other uh, new cryptocurrency updates every day all right so that's only $15 every month and that makes $180 a month and don't worry because if you have eos tokens you can even use your eos tokens to subscribe uh, to subscribe to our newsletter okay now for today's headline in preferred currency that news um is about block of america that states that the blockchain market could hit seven billion dollars and they will give boot uh, it will give boost to amazon and microsoft now, the Bank of America has estimated that blockchain, uh, blockchain could be a $7 billion market and provide a major boost to corporate giants such as Microsoft and Amazon, C uh, CNBC reports October 2nd. While BOAS and uh, analysts refrained from putting a timestamp on the industry becoming a major multi-billion dollar addressable market, they reportedly based their estimates on a ballpark figure that 2% of corporate servers would be used to run blockchain at a cost of 5500 annually. BOA research analyst Cash Rangan told CNBC that technology is well suited to some of the world's largest corporation, noting, for example, that, quote, Amazon will benefit from incremental cloud services demand from blockchain implementation, while improved supply chain tracking could uh, should make Amazon's retail operations more efficient. End quote. Rangan emphasized, however, that while main, uh, many potential use cases for blockchain have been widely uh, widely recognized, full products slash services have not yet been built out and are not used in production, leaving the technology's capacity to generate real-world capital still unproven. Rangan added that the innovation of distributed ledger systems so, uh, could take so-called software as a service or SaaS models to the next level by implementing blockchain as a service or BAS. Rangan chose Microsoft's popular blockchain-based uh, Azure platform as a salient example stating and i quote bass on azuri offers uh, services such as smart contracts and other third-party apps and should benefit as use of blockchain on azuri increases and quote among other uh, high profile beneficiaries poised to benefit from the blockchain boa included oracle ibm Salesforce.com and VMware, as well as major players from the real estate and mortgage industries such as Redfin, Zillow, and LendingTree. Notably, many of the firms recognized by BOA have already made major forays into the blockchain space. Fresh data published late August revealed that IBM is vying with the Chinese e-commerce giants Alibaba for the spot uh, for the top spot on a new list ranking global entities by the number of blockchain related patents they have filed to date 
This summer, uh, tech giant IBM closed a seminal five-year, $740 million deal with the Australian government to use blockchain to improve data security and automation across federal departments. Microsoft, for its part, first announced the launch of its Ethereum-based Azure cloud computing platform as early as 2015 and continues to improve on the product. Amazon Web Services, or AWS Cloud, platform this uh, spring introduced a framework for Ethereum and Hyperledger Fabric that allows users to build and manage their own blockchain-powered decentralized applications, or dApps. In other news, Abra Wallet, an exchange service, introduces token that tracks crypto index. Now, digital currency wallet and exchange Abra has launched support for a new token, uh, which is called BEAT10, that tracks the Bitwise 10 large cap crypto index according to the announcement published yesterday, October 3rd. The Bitwise 10 large cap crypto index was developed by cryptocurrency asset management firm Bitwise Asset Management and is reportedly listed exclusively on Abra. The index tracks the 10 largest cryptocurrencies by market capitalization, currently representing 80% of the total crypto market capitalization. Per the announcement, any investor is now able to acquire the BIT10 token through the Abra app with a minimum of $5 investment. Hunter Horsley, the CEO of Bitwise, said, quote, Index investing is extremely popular in stocks, bonds, and crypto because it gives investors diversified exposure without having to constantly monitor news and try to predict which assets will be most valuable. So far in the crypto space, index investing has only been available to institutions and accredited investors, end quote. The cost of each BIT10 uh, token reflects the value of 10 coins in the index, while the token's positions are reportedly held in multi-signature smart contracts on the Bitcoin or BT, uh, BTC or Litecoin LTC blockchains. The press release further, uh, further explains the operational principle, quote, Once invested, Abra and the user are entering into a smart contract that effectively f uh, pegs the asset invested, either fi uh, currency or cryptocurrency, to the same amount of BIT10 tokens. Abra will get a real-time price feed from Bitwise Asset Management and the BIT10 investor will see the market movement up and down, up or down, reflected in the price of their BIT10 tokens, end quote. Last month, Abra enabled the direct purchase and sale of cryptocurrencies for European bank accounts. Customers can now transfer euros or several other uh, national currencies directly to their wallet, which can, in turn, can be converted into the 28 cryptocurrencies supported by Abra. In March, Abra CEO Bill uh, Bardi forecasted that all hell will break loose in BTC and altcoin market this year. Bardite said that he talked with hedge funds, high network individuals, and speculators who saw huge opportunities in the vol uh, volat volatility in the crypto markets. Once that happens, all hell will break loose. Once the floodgates are opened, they're opened, Bardite had added. Now, in crypto exchange uh, news, crypto exchange Polonix removes margin and lending products for U.S. users. U.S.-based cryptocurrency exchange platform uh, Polonix will remove margin and lending products for its customers in the U.S. and delist three digital assets, according to an announcement published yesterday, October 3rd. Polonix is a cryptocurrency trading platform founded in 2014 and designed as a digital currency to uh, digital currency exchange. In 2018, Polonix was us uh, was acquired by Dublin-based payments technology firm Circle for 400 
bi uh, million dollars. Currently, Poloniex is ranked to 38 by the adjusted trading value according to coin market cap. According to the statement, the exchange will remove its margin and lending products for U.S.-based customers by the end of this year. Poloniex explains that the move has been taken to ensure the exchange complies with regulatory requirements in every jurisdiction. The announcement did not refer directly to any specific rela uh, regulation. Additionally, Poloniex will reportedly delist three cryptocurrencies which are Cynereo, Expans, and Gnosis on October 10th, so customers will have to desist any trades and withdraw with any balances in these assets. In July, uh, the Delaware Department of Justice investigated Polonix after the exchange's social media and support center accounts were besieged by users who had been locked out of their accounts. In May, a number of customers reportedly um, started receiving emails in which Polonix required them to verify their account within 14 days. After that, the unverified accounts were frozen. Polonix users uh, further took to the exchange unofficial subreddit complaining about missing or stuck deposits. One poster said the amount of complaints led him to, uh, led him to shut down his account despite not being directly affected. In January, Polonix users claimed on the exchange's unofficial subreddit that it had not been crediting user account balances where, uh, when orders were cancelled. One user said, quote, when I cancel any open orders, the, uh, the original USDT value isn't returned. Usually, the intended buy value is returned to my total and everything is fine. But just notice today that every time I cancel an order, the estimated value of holdings, which are, the dispo uh, which are in the deposits and withdrawals tab, gets smaller and smaller and never returns to the original total and quote another uh, news for cryptocurrency today winkle voss gemini crypto exchange secures insurance uh, coverage for custodied assets cryptocurrency exchange and custodian gemini trust company llc or also famously known as gemini has secured insurance coverage for custodial uh, digital assets from lending services firm aeon according to a press published october 3rd founded in 2014 in new york by tyler and cameron wilkel voss uh, gemini is now the 50th largest digital currency exchange by 24 hour adjust uh, adjusted trade volume according to data from coin market cap Per press release, a Gemini's digital insurance coverage will complement the already available Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation or FDIC insured U.S. dollar deposits. Yusuf Hussain, Gemini's head of risk, said, quote, Consumers are looking for the same levels of insured protection they're used to being afforded by traditional financial institutions. Educating our insurers not only allows us to provide such protections to our customers, but it also sets the expect, uh, expectation for consumer protection across the crypto uh, industry. End quote. In July, Aeon claimed to occupy 50% of the cryptocurrency insurance market, expecting to see more crypto-specific protection catering to the industry. Another industry brokerage firm, uh, Marsh and McLean reportedly said that 2018 has been brisk for crypto insurers, revealing that it had former uh, it had formed its first ever team dedicated to broker policies for blockchain startups. Last month, Gemini Exchange announced that former Chief Information Officer of the New York Stock Ex uh, Exchange, Robert Cornish, had joined the company. At Gemini, a Cornish is responsible for leading technology initiatives and monitoring the deployment of Nasdaq Smart Market Surveillance Technology, which will let Gemini control all of its order books and Gemini auctions. In April, Gemini revealed that it would be uh, it will begin offering crypto block trading uh, outside of their regular order books. Investors that want to trade on the Gemini block trading uh, marketplace 
face will be able to buy and sell large amount of cryptocurrencies in december last year gemini partnered with chicago board uh, options exchange or cboe to launch bitcoin futures which let him bring the traditional market instruments in the crypto space another news by mary holyet um Israel Securities Authority turned to blockchain for improving cybersecurity. The Israel Securities Authority, or ISA, has started to use blockchain to improve the cybersecurity of its messaging system. Online newspaper Times of Israel reports today, uh, October 3rd. The government regulator has reportedly embedded the technology into a system dubbed YAL used to deliver messages and other information to entities that fall under ISA oversight. The ISA has further plans to implement blockchain in two other systems, including an online voting system that enable investors to participate in ISA meetings remotely and a system called Magna that stores all the reports filed by ISA regulated ent uh, entities. The blockchain solution used by ISA was reportedly developed by ID firm Taldor according to the Times of Israel. As publication outlines, the technology can provide robust solutions to counter, uh, countering fraud as it can be used to verify the authenticity of communications as well as safeguard against post-facto editing or inappropriate deletions. The regulator is quoted by the Times of Israel as saying that he... Uh, that the transition to blockchain adds another layer to ensuring the credibility of the information relayed to the supervised bodies. Moreover, a blockchain system can prove or disapprove that a message has been sent by the ISA. Nathan Hershkovitz, director of the ISA Information Systems Department, said that the move to integrate blockchain aligns with a growing trend around the world and in the financial field in particular to embed innovative and revolutionary uh, revolutionary technologies as reported last month switzerland and israel have recently agreed to share their experience on regulating the blockchain industry with the Swiss State Secretary for International Financial Matters, Joe Gasser, saying that he plans to prepare a report outlining general recommendations for review by the Israeli government. Israel's Ministry of Finance, for its part, has said that both countries have agreed to share notes on fintech regulation, including guidelines on the cryptocurrencies and combating money laundering. Another news by Anna Berman 12 hours ago, U.S. brokerage firm TD Armitrade to invest in new crypto, uh, new crypto exchange. Retail brokerage firm TD Arm, uh, Trade has announced that it is backing new cryptocurrency exchange ErisX, according to a press release published on the company's web uh, website yesterday, October 3rd. TD Arm Ameritrade, which currently provides investment services up to 11 million clients, did not reveal the, re, um, the details of the deal. However, according to Bloomberg, investing company DRW Holdings and high-speed trader uh, Virtue Financial are also participating with investments. Both agreed to be markets uh, market makers for ErisX, which might help ensure a deep order book. Bloomberg writes, uh, Aris X, a reboot of traditional future market Aris Exchange, launched back in 2010, is going to announce its business plan later today at Wall Street Journal, uh, as Wall Street Journal has learned. The exchange is expected to start a direct sale of cryptocurrencies along with future contracts in early 2019. As Bloomberg notes, it will allow investors to trade in Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. The head of future and foreign exchange trading at TDR Murray Trade, JB McKenzie, told, uh, 
Wall Street Journal that the brokerage firm wanted to convert cryptocurrency into something the investors feel comfortable with in regulated space. As cited by Bloomberg, another uh, TDR Meritrade official, Executive Vi uh, Vice President of Trading and Edu Education, Steve Quirk, stated that the brokerage clients have expressed interest in coin trading, noting, quote, our retail clients are seeking to access the trade uh, access and trade digital currency products in the same way they do with traditional capital markets uh, through a legitimate, regulated, and transparent exchange. As Cointelegraph has reported earlier, the Chicago Board Options Exchange, or CBOE, launched BTC futures trading back in December 2017, a move that attracted so much trading volume that the CBOE website went, uh, temporarily went down. In early January this year, Cointelegraph wrote that the release of BTC futures might indicate that even more traditional institutions on Wall Street might want to recognize BTC as a legitimate asset. Later that month, CBOE closed its first Bitcoin future, uh, futures contract at $10,900. In other news, IBM awarded patent for security a secure system based on blockchain. Tech conglomerate IBM has recently been awarded a patent for the blockchain-based secure system. The patent, filing, uh, the patent filing was published on U.S. Patent and Trademark Office or USPTO website to, uh, last Tuesday, October 2nd. As IBM explains in a document first filed in September 2017, the technology enables the detection of security breaches within a network by connecting all the monitors to a chain configuration which registers all events in the network this in turn might help uh, to prevent different sorts of hacks according to a detailed explanation provided by IBM a, monit uh, a monitor can be easily intruded upon in a regular system as none of the devices know about each other and hackers can clean up past events to gain control however within a blockchain security system a hack monitor can be found immediately and as in uh, such a case synchronized monitors won't have consensus if information if the information received for a specific event or transaction differs then one monitor may have been compromised the uh, filing explains now, the use of blockchain technology and monitor systems will therefore help create a less vulnerable network and provide more security, IBM uh, or IMB, IBM states. IBM shares first place globally with Chinese e-commerce corporation Alibaba in terms of blockchain-related patents filed. As uh, per recent report by intellectual property outlet IPR Daily, Alibaba has registered 90 patents, while IBM uh, follows behind with as many as 89 patents. For instance, in mid-September, IBM filed another blockchain patent in the security area. As Cointelegraph wrote, the patent application was related to privacy rules for drones in case of high risks. Later in September, IBM was awarded a patent for, a, uh, for the autonomous self-servicing of network devices that form part of its autonomous decentralized peer-to-peer -peer telemetry, uh, telemetry or ADAPT. All right, now for the latest news on Bitcoin analysis, Bitcoin wobbles on 2% drop as altcoins fall harder. Now, Bitcoin stemmed losses compared to many major altcoins Wednesday, October 3rd, as news hit of crypto exchange Coinbase has reported $8 billion uh, valuation. Data from the Cointelegraph's price tr uh, tracker and Coin360 shows uh, Bitcoin proving a safe haven against all but one of the top 10 crypto assets, losing around 1.6% in the 24 hours to the press time. 
BTC slash USD has grown over the past week to hit 6783 US dollars before a correction saw prices return uh, to match their position on September 27, trading today at around $6,478 by press time. Despite investors seeing potential in companies such as Coinbase going forward, the outlook for Bitcoin's protracted bear market, meanwhile, remains mixed. Analysis published October 1st gathered technical, uh, technical data to suggest that the largest cryptocurrency is still overbought, leaving room for further downside before its fortunes reverse for good. Speaking about Coinbase's uh, potential deal with investor Tiger Global, Bitcoin bull uh, Mike Novogratz said cryptocurrency was giving proof it was not tulips. Tiger's not flake. Tiger's not a flake of an investor. These are smart, savvy guys, he told CNBC on Wednesday. Beyond Bitcoin, altcoin assets faced more testing times with losses outspacing Bitcoin's throughput. The, uh, the top 10 cryptocurrencies listed on coin market cap, with the exception of Monero. Ripple led the route, losing about 5.3%, followed by both, uh, both Stellar and Dash, down around 4.2% over, uh, over the 24 hour period. Ethereum, the largest altcoin by market capitalization, lost 3.8% to sit at around $220, still up 2.6% this week, but against monthly losses of close to 24%. In the news by Marie Willett, uh, Japan's Prime Minister appoints blo uh, pro-blockchain figure as Minister of Science technology and information technology a prominent uh, pro blockchain politician has been appointed as japan's minister of science technology and it coin telegraph japan reported october 2nd his appointment comes as part of the fourth reshuffle of japan's prime minister shinzo abe's cabinet Takuya Hirai, a member of the ruling Liberal Democratic uh, Party or LDP and reportedly one of the architects of a law legalizing crypto exchanges in, the pa uh, in Japan last year, will take up the key role as head of the ministry, charged among other things with overseeing official government policies towards financial technologies. As CT, outline, uh, as CT Japan outlined, Hirai has been proactive in promoting blockchain as part of his role as a chairperson of the FinTech uh, Promotion Parliament, uh, Parliamentarians Federation. Moreover, Hirai is credited for his role in drafting Japan's basic cybersecurity law, which was enacted in 2015 at the time. And at the time, Hirai stated that the LDP concluded that the government will, for now, avoid a move toward legal, uh, legal regulation of cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. Uh, CT Japan further points to local Japanese reports, uh, Japanese media reports that have highlighted Hirai's positive remarks regarding initial coin offerings at the GBA meeting. Um, meeting this August, and he has also advised the IK, uh, ICO Business Study Group at Tama University's Rural Formation Strategy Institute. In regards to progress in establishing future rules, such as the creation of voluntary ICO uh, regulations in the future, CT Japan writes that various support and efforts from the government are to be expected. Given the appointment of a, fi a fi figure that is well versed in crypto to the head of the post of the country science, technology, and IT uh, ministry. As previously reported, Hirai's advisory uh, role at Tama University saw the gr uh, study group release a wide ranging list of guidelines for the regulation and full legalization of ICOs in the country, which will reportedly be official considered by Japan's financial agency, 
uh, services agency and could eventually be passed into law in a few years time the guidelines included rules for anti-money laundering or aml know your customer measures tracking project progress and project uh, protecting existing equity and debt holders all right and for our last piece of news report a uh, coinbase negotiation could value crypto exchange at eight billion dollar san francisco based cryptocurrency exchange and wallet service coinbase is finishing negotiations that would value the company at eight billion dollar technology news site recode reports october 2nd citing anonymous uh, anonymous sources familiar with the matter recode states that the coinbase is in talks with tiger global and its shareholders regarding a possible 500 billion dollar investment the sources reportedly said that coinbase would add 250 billion dollars to its treasury while another 250 million dollars could be slated for buy, uh, for buying out existing investors tiger global management is an investment firm founded in 2011 that invests globally uh, globally in both private and public markets galaxy G uh, digital crypto investment firm ceo michael no uh, novogratz said that the news about reported negotiations proved that cryptocurrencies like bitcoin were more than just a tulip man uh, mania cnbc quotes novogratz at the economic uh, economist finance disrupted conference uh on tuesday quote here's the poster child of the crypto space worth eight billion dollars that's a real company and tiger is not a flake of an investor these are smart savvy guys end quote according to cnbc a deal with tiger global would make coinbase one of the most highly valued startups in the u.s last uh, in the U.S. last year following a Series D funding round led by IVP with participation from Section 32, Draper Associates and others, Coinbase was worth an estimated $1.6 billion. Over the past, Coinbase has moved quickly to expand to its business on multiple fronts. In May, the exchange announced that uh, the launch of four new products, which aim to unlock $10 billion of institutional investors' money, uh, sitting on the sideline. Uh, sideline. Recently, Coinbase introduced a new product called Coinbase Bundle, which it purports will simplify the crypto trading uh, process. Coinbase Bundles is a basket of five cryptocurrencies supported on Coinbase, which are uh, which are Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum Litecoin, and Ethereum Classic, and purchased in proportion to their market capitalization in the U.S. Uh, in U.S. dollars. Coinbase has also uh, onboarded a host of talent from tra uh, traditional financial institutions as well as big name tech companies like Facebook, Microsoft, Amazon, and Google. Today, Coinbase announced that Chris Dodds, a member of the board at Charles Schwab, uh, Schwab uh, would be joining the exchange's board to contribute to the Coinbase expansion in terms of its financial services capabilities. All right. So guys, those are the news that you can get from um, PCN or preferredcurrency.news. So I suggest that you go on ahead and visit our website at www.preferredcurrency.news and get your daily dose of currency updates. Now for other news, um, I will go ahead and take a, a, a just a little break. Then I will be back in a few minutes to bring you more information about EOS currency today. All right, guys. So please stay tuned, and I'll see you in a. I'll see you all in a bit.